joining us as we celebrate Bon Secours Foundation Day. While we are normally able to celebrate with prayer services on every campus and at our home care agencies, this year we hope to reach everyone with this online offering. I am grateful to the many colleagues who have participated in this service. Congratulations to the Sisters of Bon Secours. Thank you for everything you do in the name of Bon Secours Charity Health System. Blessings on your day. This day marks the birth of the religious community known as the Sisters of Bon Secours. On January 24, 1824, 12 brave young women gathered in the Church of saint sulpice in Paris, France, in the presence of Archbishop de Quelan, the Archbishop of Paris, to commit themselves to serving people who were poor, sick, and dying in their homes. In his remarks, the Archbishop described the group of women as Sisters of Bon Secours, Sisters of Good Health. Typically, religious sisters did not leave their convents. Yet, these women not only left their convent, but often did so alone, walking the streets of Paris and serving in the homes of people who were poor, sick, and vulnerable. They created their own path, risking the indignation and condemnation of the people of their day suspicious of women traveling alone or living in the homes of others, to share the merciful love of God with those who are sick and dying. Despite the condemnation from some in French society, the French embraced the nuns. Not one sister was harmed as they pursued their mission of compassion, healing, and liberation. Consider the courage it took for these 12 sisters to move out of their own comfort zone. Consider the grace-filled energy that enabled them to go beyond their fears into action. Consider how the love of God transformed their lives so that they could be the compassion of God in their time and circumstance. We celebrate the courage of these first sisters and ask God for the courage we need to live out the mission and ministry they have entrusted to us. Today, we strive to cultivate in ourselves and others, a compassion that, like the compassion of Jesus, has the power to heal and liberate. Once again, we are called to continue the legacy of the Sisters of Bon Secours, providing good help, especially to people among us who are sick, poor, and vulnerable. Howard Weiland will lead us in our opening prayer. Gracious God, we gather today grateful for the many gifts you give us, for the many blessings you bestow upon us. In a special way today, we recall the courage and grace of 12 young women who embodied your love in the service of those who are sick and suffering in any way. May their example inspire us to use our gifts to continue the good work begun so nobly in the Sisters of Bon Secours. Make us witnesses to your presence and love active in our world and so desperately needed in these difficult times. Support us as we strive to honor the legacy entrusted to us that we will be good help especially to those in need. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes. And to another, come here, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. And Jesus said to the centurion, You may go as you have believed. Let it be done for you. And at that very hour, the servant was healed. The Gospel of the Lord. As I reflect on my years as an employee of Bon Secours Community Hospital and a leader in this organization, the privilege to work in Catholic health care is rewarding, and it brings me an overwhelming sense of happiness. I have always felt that I was at an advantage being able to start my work day with a prayer, knowing that I had an army of nuns overseeing and ensuring our strength and perseverance as we cared for those most vulnerable. 
Knowing that our mission is to be the eyes, ears, hands, and heart of the sisters provides a calling to do the work we do. We are different, and you can feel it when you enter the building. We live the prophetic word. During my tenure, the influence of the Sisters of Mercy, the Franciscan Sisters, and currently the Sisters of Charity and the Sisters of Bon Secours has made Bon Secours Community Hospital a space of sacred ground where all who work here truly provide good help to those most in need. Similar to the Sisters, our work reflects a long tradition of willingness to take risks in pursuit of innovation, growth, and extension of mission. So just as I begin each day at Morning Huddle, let us center ourselves, let us remember we are in the presence of the Lord, and let us go out on sacred ground to do good help to those in need. Hello, I am Father Martin Rooney, and I am the Director of Mission here at Bon Secours Charity Health System. And I have been asked to offer a brief reflection on one of our Foundation Day celebrations, which we celebrate on January 24th, and that is the Sisters of Bon Secours, as we remember our roots. As you know, the Sisters of Bon Secours are the co-sponsors of Bon Secours Charity Health System, along with the Sisters of Charity of St. Elizabeth and our sponsorship along with Westchester Medical Center. So I am here just to offer a brief reflection on this Catholic healthcare ministry today. As I talk about today, we can never forget our roots, and certainly we are rooted in the past. And that is why we, re we remember the Sisters of Bon Secours. If you remember from your orientation, Bon Secours means good help. And that is our motto here at Bon Secours Charity Health System. We are good help to those in need. And certainly many, many people have helped us in this Catholic healthcare ministry to be that good help to those in need. All of our staff and our volunteers, all of our administration and our board members, we all work together to be good help to those in need. The Sisters of Bon Secours, as you know, came to Baltimore many years ago, and now they have a thriving healthcare system here in the United States. And certainly we are standing in the present with our family of Bon Secours Charity alongside of us, being that good help to those in need. Certainly in this present day pandemic, healthcare certainly has changed. It is much different than it was years ago, and it will be different today next week and next year. And that is why, as a healthcare organization, we look to the future, constantly looking to see how we can innovate and be better at what we do. And certainly, Bon Secours Charity has done that in so many different ways, not only here in the healthcare settings, but in the community, in our medical groups, long-term care, and all the facilities that are part of Bon Secours Charity Health System. So as we celebrate our Founders Day and remember the Sisters of Bon Secours on January 24th, let us remember that we are a compassionate, caring healthcare organization, certainly rooted in the past with and for the Sisters of Bon Secours, standing in the present with all those around us, our staff, our volunteers, all those who continue to be good help to those in need, and we venture into the future, wherever that takes us as a united healthcare system focused on being good help to those in need. So thank you and God bless you. The COVID-19 pandemic hit our hospital especially hard in March and April. The hospital system became overwhelmed quickly and one thing that I will always remember is how swiftly and successfully we all assembled as a team. We had a common goal to take care of these patients the best way that we knew how. However, this was a new virus and we didn't know what, it, what to expect. We had to adapt quickly, sometimes changing our care daily. I'm very proud of how every department of this hospital was willing to help and go outside of their comfort zone to achieve this goal. We had daily conversations with our pharmacists regarding what medications could be used and what was in short supply. 
physical therapists volunteered to help out, setting up a proning team with patient care aides to try to get these patients off the ventilators faster. The staff from the medical offices took on new roles to help out in the hospital and take temperatures and hand out PPE. There were many nurses who were not used to taking care of these critically ill patients and rose to the challenge and worked tirelessly with the intensivists and cardiologists. Our environmental services department was available to do deep cleaning of patients' rooms and areas of the hospital that were not used to taking care of these critically ill patients. There are many things about this pandemic that I may not want to talk about, but when I think about the good, how Good Samaritan Hospital community went above and beyond their usual duties and rallied together to help those patients and each other, it may be the greatest thing that I remember. We share our litany of commitment. Give us the courage and strength, especially during this time of COVID pandemic to extend compassionate ministry of Jesus. Speak your word and your servant shall be healed. In the midst of a complicated and divided world, help us to place our trust in you. Speak your word and your servant will be healed. Fill us with your grace so that our own fears will not be a barrier to care for others. Speak your word and your servant will be healed. Renew us when we lose sight of our mission and purpose. Speak your word and your servant will be healed. Help us to always remember the courage and love of those 12 women who, on whose shoulders we now stand. Speak your word and your servant shall be healed. Inspire us to move beyond ourselves and our own needs to advocate to a better world in which your justice and peace will flourish. Speak your word and your servant will be healed. In moments of doubt and despair, strengthen our faith and fill us with your hope. Speak your word and your servant will be healed. And now we share our closing prayer. Let us pray for one another to be good leaders and faithful servants as we remember the sisters of Bon Secours on whose shoulders we stand. Greater God, we pray for one another. It is your healing ministry that brings us together today and always. May we honor this ministry by what we talk about, by what we share, and how we treat one another. Loving God, you teach us the meaning of servant leadership and show us the path toward the common good, which is found in relationships. Help us to see your face in the faces of those we serve. Give us the courage, the insight, and wisdom needed to be faithful translators of this sacred and holy ministry of healing. We pray this in gratitude for your trust in us. Amen. Join us as we pray our mission statement together. The mission of Bon Secours Charity Health System is to make visible God's love and to be good help to those in need, especially those who are poor, vulnerable, and dying. As a system of caregivers, we commit to help bring people and communities to the health and wholeness as part of the healing ministry of Jesus Christ and the Catholic Church. Thank you for joining us today. We wish everyone a blessed Bon Secours Foundation Day.